Hello everyone, and today, we are back for another Lubian Legacy PvP video, and we're gonna be showcasing Cannibo. I have showcased the Madcap set, the Ambush set, and today, we're gonna showcase the Aggressive set. We are running the same moves on this Cannibo as we did it with the other ones. We have Specialty Boots with Brawny Nimble. Nimble's there for the extra speed because it outspeeds more Boots users. And the TPs, I have 88 in the energy that allows me to go for 5 Clobbers. And I have 12 in the health, 200 in the melee attack, and 200 in the speed. The team I have around Cannibal is I have Gargolem Defense Form to place Hazard. Plus, it's a perfect swap in for Gargola for Cannibal, which is good. I got Solburst Metronet. Yes, I know it's an Uber, but I haven't used it in a while, so I'm going to try it out and see how it does. Novadius, it's OP. I got Chironix to Flash and Flee. This will give momentum for my Cannibal. I have Hunter because I haven't used this in a while. I can utilize Vice Jaws. And I got Harvest Set because, yeah, I don't have a Dark Resist or a Plant Resist. So, decided to add this on the team. With that out of the way, let's see how Cannibo does in battle. Alright, battle number one with Cannibo. Let's see what you have. Okay, this is going to be tough because that Ikazune is most certainly Boots. And he has a Your Soul that has priority. That's not great. I actually don't really have anything for your soul. Maybe besides you. So, I gotta be a little bit careful. I'll bring the fence for him now. Oh no, he has a Zeflin. He has a Zeflin too. Maybe I could bring... Do I have anything for this team? Like, I could defeat the your soul in one hit with this, but... There's also the Hunter and the Garbantis that outspeeds me. And I don't think I have anything for the Garbantis, neither. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Do I bring Nova? Nova Diaz kind of, it doesn't work in this one. I think I'm going to lead off with Cannibo. No, will he lead off with Ikka or will he lead off with Himber? I don't think he leads off with Your Soul. I think I'm going to lead off with Cannibo to anti-lead the Himber. Yep, there's the Himber. Problem, I don't KO it in one hit. That's kind of a problem. I don't actually KO this thing in one hit. And everything is weak to it. I'm honestly just going to have to hit it and then defeat it later. It sucks, but I have to do it. That's the only play I have, even though Cannibal is to showcase Lumia. At least I brought it in. And thank goodness he doesn't want to take a hit on Himber. Goes into Zeppelin. A little unfortunate, but not the end of the world neither. I can always just drive his force to Zeppelin. Do I have anything? Yeah, I can always just drive his force to Zeppelin. So I'm going to do that, I think. Could go for peace of mind. Resonate. Ow. Did a decent chunk. Could I just drive and force it out? Force it out. Oh, he swapped again. Into... Oh, thank gosh. Are you rageful, plushie? It is! Goodbye! I Well, why didn't he just stay in and KO'd my cannibal then? <laughs> he wanted the whole Himber sweet. He has Ikka. Good to know. He has a Kazune. That's going to be kind of tough to defeat, especially with Zeppelin at the same time. Going to go into Chironix to block the Flash and Flay. I don't remember him having a plant type. Block this Flash and Flay, and now my Flash and Flay is going to do a little more damage, too. So, we'll go for Flash and Flay and get momentum into something. Hopefully he goes into Himber. If he goes into Himber, I get some damage on it, and then I can go into my Canapo and nuke it. That's if it can even do enough damage, though. He does go into Himber. Please do a decent chunk. I don't know. It's going to be close. <laughs> oh, it's going to be close, guys. Oh, man, it's going to be close. I could also go for a Wave Racker to predict the Zeppelin. Or the Ursul, actually. Dang it, he stayed in. He's going to live, isn't he? I knew it. Clobber would have been enough to KO it. Gosh dang it, Cannibal. You don't do enough damage with boots. At least I live the hit, though. You can't go into your soul while this thing is on the field. Can I live at least one quick punch, please? Thank you. I live a quick punch. So, Hipper's dead. I get a boost, but now he goes your soul. I get an aggressive boost, but now he goes your soul. He's kind of forced to. Or Ikka. He could go Ikka as well. I think he goes Ikka. He either goes Ikka or Yursel. I don't know. Out of the two, I don't know who he goes for. Let's see what you do. 
He actually goes for the Zeppelin. Are you a Boots Zeppelin? I'm gonna attack it. I'm a Boots Cannibal, so this can do a lot of damage. Yes! I got a crit! Thank you! Thank you, Cannibal! The, the aggressive set coming in clutch there. I needed that crit. There's no way that would have KO'd. That was lucky. I'm gonna take anything I can get with Cannibal. Is it Kazune is probably Boots, but my Lumion is kinda low on energy. I'm gonna take a test. Nope, I'm dead to the fire breath. Yep, it's okay though. We still have Ika. I mean, we still have Tyronix for Ika, so it's not the end of the world. We also have Gargolem. I'll just go in the Tyronix. And I'm gonna throw a spite out there. Because there's no way an Ikazune is gonna stay into a Tyronix. And if it does, the Ikazune goes down half its health. I think spite's the best play to do. So let's see what you do. Okay, he's actually staying in, and I know why he's staying in. He's doing this because your soul's a nightmare. He's doing this because your soul he's gonna he's trying to bring your soul on the field to sweep me. That's actually a little scary. I'm gonna go for the flash and flee this time and see if I can get some momentum. He goes into Hunter, actually, that's good. Do I have anything to outspeed the Hunter? Because I did lose Cannabo. I do have Harv that can KO it with an earthquake. It should be able to live one hit at least. I just gotta hope I don't get flinched by it. Because let's be honest, we all know what happens. I'm gonna get flinched. It shouldn't do that much regardless. Nope, I got my Earthquake off. Thank gosh, Harvestect is a monster. What is his last Lumion? What is your last Lumion? I know you have an Ikka, but what's your last Lumion? I bet his last one's your soul. He's saving it for last. Okay, his last one's Garbantis. Do I Driving Force it out? I don't know. I kinda don't know what the play is here. I'm actually just gonna go- I'm actually just gonna play it safe and go Gargolem and force it out. Maybe I can place Hazards up. He goes for the Provoke, that's fine. I can still Driving Force it. And if he hits me, I go below- I get my Milkshake prop. You went for a Burrow? Well, you're getting forced- Garbantis, you're not going for the win. I'm not allowing it. I need Icicle Traps up because Garbantis is still very high on energy. He's gonna probably go for the Zip Zap, I assume. I'm gonna go into the Tyronix. I'm gonna go into the Tyronix. Tyronix might be able to live a hit. Dang it! Why did he go for that? It's fine. I can still go for a Flash and Flay and bring my... Uh, you know, and bring my place icicle traps up. He forfeited. Awesome. Let's head into battle number two. All right. Battle number two with Cannabo. I got lucky last battle with the crypt. I'm going to take anything I can get. Especially when I have to face a Jalusa here. I'm going to have to rely on Tyronix to spike that thing down. So it's not going to be a very easy battle to win. Especially with Land Torch on top of that. So, I'm gonna bring you. I'm gonna bring a Hunter. Because, yeah, there is a Stratosaur, ladies and gentlemen. And I gotta bring Cannibal because it is to showcase Lumion. Out, out of these, which, which should be the last Lumion I bring? Do I bring Metro? Problem is, is the chance of getting days. I kind of don't know what his Boots user is. He's kind of full of them, honestly. Actually, he, this is a casual battle. I don't know, honestly. I kind of am not sure what he's going to bring. I'm going to bring Metronet. Because it gives me the best chance of destroying his team. But I still got to watch out for the Stratosaur. I'm going to lead off with the uh, Gargolem defense. And I'm going to try to get Barbs on the field. He led off with the Windolin. That's not the end of the world. Gargolem could soak a couple hits. So I go for a layer of Barbs. He goes for a fadeaway for momentum. Of course it had to crit me. Why? And of course they didn't get me below half. I'm one HP away from crocking milkshake. That's unfortunate. There's the Jalusa as well. Dang it. That's horrible. What I'm gonna have to do is chip it down. I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go Tyronix. And I'm gonna have to use this on Jalusa instead of the torch. And the torch is just gonna win from here. This is really terrible. At least I can go for a spite though. So I could definitely go for a spite. Unless this is Provoke Peace of Mind, which these things do have Provoke. Okay, he just goes for another Peace of Mind. That's okay. 
Do I have a melee attacker that can hit Chalusa? Probably. I think I'm gonna have to roll. No, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I have Hunter. I have Hunter. I have Hunter. We just flash the blade and Hunter KOs it. Of course, dang it! I didn't want to attack this turn. But Tronic still lived to hit relatively well, so I think we're gonna be okay. We go into the Hunter, and we're going for the Thunder Chomp because this is a Jalusa, and we can't take any risk. If we take any risk with the Jalusa, this thing sweeps me. So I have to go for the Thunder Chomp and say goodbye to the Jalusa. If it was something like a Volt Pearl, I would have been extremely salty. But thankfully, it's not. Those things usually run Rageful. I don't know, though. I don't know if that set was, though. Let's see who goes into next. Probably going to be Lantorch to try to beat the Hunter. Or Windolin. I think Windolin is, bo is his Boots Limian. By the way he's playing this, I think his Windolin is his Boots Limian. I could live one hit from this range. So I'm just going to go for Vice Jaws. Nope! We can confirm he's not in Boots Lumion. And the Windolin gets one shot at. Good! That's, it's his Land Torch then. His Land Torch is his Boots Lumion. That's good to know. I think his. I think that's what it is anyway. I mean, Land Torch can utilize Boots better than Windolin. Yep, there's the Torch. Kinda shocked he didn't bring this thing in first. I think he tried to trick me. The problem is that Lily isn't terrible. Especially if he goes for Fire Breath. But. I gotta go Tyronix here, because if I don't go Tyronix, this thing is going to sweep me again. Prom yes, I got him at least. Thank gosh. He did go for the flare. I didn't think he was going to do that, honestly. Now he's trapped. He has to swap out. He can't hit me. I know this is Boots. He has to swap out. I could also get momentum with a Flash and Flay, but that's too risky. I'd rather just spike something and get them down to half. Get the Eliguana down to half. Let's go. That's massive. That's huge for me. And now, I'm going to go with the Gargolem defense form so that Eliguana could, one, not tase me, and two, not not have it mudslide on me. This is a huge deal for me. Okay, just goes for a Juvenate. No big deal. I'm going to place another layer of barbs, or I'm going to click Driving Force to force more damage on that torch. Yep, he went for a Flash and Flay. I get my milkshake procking, so I do have more health than I do before, so that's good. I'm kind of not sure what he's going to do, honestly. Let's see. Torch. Okay, that's a big deal. I get free damage from the strat. Now I know that he has it. I bet that's his soul burst. It's back into the torch, so more free damage on the torch. That's good. Gotta save defense for him quite specifically for Eliguana, though. Going back into Chironix. He predicted it, didn't he? Dang it. He predicted it. I could go Hunter, though. Hunter could swap in on it. I get more health emulate HP. He could just go for a Magnify. We just go Hunter here. Hunter's basically free. And I don't even care if he goes Eliguana again. I could predict the Eliguana, but if I make the wrong play, Stratosaur gets a Frail Armor boost and sweeps me. And personally, I don't want a Frail Armor sweep. Yep. He predicted me to predict his Eliguana. I'm not taking that risk. Goodbye, Stratosaur. Thank gosh. So, he has Eliguana, Land Torch left. Yep, he's going Eliguana. Going for a mudslide to get rid of the barbs. Again, I'm not allowing him to get rid of those barbs. I'm not allowing that Eliguana to get rid of barbs. The Eliguana's not getting rid of barbs. I don't care. Having the Hazards game is really important for me. Goes for the Flash and Flay, that's more damage. And now Eliguana is getting lower and lower and lower, which is huge. That Land Torch has to come back in, taking more damage from the Barbs. And now this time, I just go back into the Tyronix. I haven't used Canapo yet, but I'm going to try to force it in with a Flash and Flay. Awesome, he went for the Fire Breath, I'm going to pivot. This is the time to do it. I got burned, which disables my health amulet, but it's not the end of the world. That land torch keeps taking extra damage. So we're going to be okay, I think. We just go for the flash and flay here. He actually just stayed in. He's stuck into fire breath. He's stuck into fire breath, which is free for me. Awesome. We go for the flash and flay here. He lives the hit. I get a crit, but that's no big deal. We go into Cannibal because he's stuck into fire breath. 
And if he's not stuck, I outspeed him. Fire Breath would not be able to do enough. And even if he has the chance to burn me, I still go for the Wave Record and do a ton of damage to it. We're fine. Awesome. And I don't get burned, which is massive. And I get an aggressive boost as well. So now his Eliguana has no chance of surviving now. So yeah, Cannibal's going to get the late game clean. Awesome. I think aggressive is pretty good. I think it's the second best ability for Cannibal. I think the first best is ambush because it prevents swapping out. When Madcap is the third, is the worst. Although Madcap isn't terrible. The problem is, is that you just take too much recoil damage. Let's head into battle number three. All right, battle number three with Cannibal. It's done okay so far, but I haven't done the best with it. And in this battle, yeah, it's hit or miss. It's going to depend. He doesn't have any brawler immunities, which is good, but he does have a couple resistances. So we're going to have to play that Helvantic really carefully. I'm going to bring you for the Jalusa, so you can actually soak the hit well. There is an Akalos. That is a little scary. A yeah, it's really scary, actually, especially if it gets a Drudge up. Wind Tricks isn't, Wind Tricks isn't the worst, but... It is still something to be careful with. It could have hazard removal, and it's probably going to anti-lead with it, I assume. So I think I'm going to bring the Hunter. Is he going to bring the Soul Burst to Reptodon? Is he going to lead with it? I'm kind of not sure, honestly. I'm going to lead with the Hunter to anti-lead the anti-lead. So he's going to lead with Wintrix to beat my Gargolem. That's what he's going to do. So, yeah, that's the plan. Or Jalusa. He could do Jalusa, too. Oh, he let Elvantic. That's unfortunate. Not terrible, though. We could still go into... I could also see if this thing is boots, but I don't want to take that test this early in the game. Plus, if I can get Hazards down, Hazards would be amazing. Did he have a Fire... Oh, yeah, yeah he did. Soulburst Erupted on. He has Soulburst Erupted on as his Fire type, so we can't take that risk. We go for a layer of Barbs. I assume he's going to go Jalusa or Wintrix. One of the two. I didn't think he was going to lead Helvantic, honestly. Usually Helvantic's not a lead that you would expect. Goes into... Yes, I'm actually happy that he went Jalusa. As weird as it sounds. I'm actually happy that he went Jalusa instead of Wintrix. Because with Jalusa, I can go into Tyronic, spite it, and flash and play. While still being above half health, so... I should still be okay. Unless it magnifies, of course. Okay, it magnifies. It's a little scarier. It can't... The good thing is, is that the Jalusa can't, you know... The Jalusa can't, you know... Luster loot. So it can't gain any HP back. Goes for the Tsunami, playing it safe. Thank gosh I hit my spite. I needed that big time. And now we know that you're Health Amulet. So, good. We know that you're now Health Amulet. I'm gonna go for the Flash and Flea and go into my Hunter... Because now the Jalusa is pretty chipped. Unfortunately, I used my entire Tyronics on it. But sometimes it's better to do that than getting swept by a Jalusa. Sometimes you just got to do stuff that you don't want to do in order to win these battles. I'm going to go into Hunter. Could have Sea Drake still. Could have a couple other Threatening Lumians still. But Hunter's the play. It forces something to come in. And that's a big deal. I honestly kind of don't care who comes in. I just want to make sure I defeat this Jalusa. Again, I don't want to take any risk with this thing. Because if the Jalusa lives the hit, the Jalusa Luster loots all its HP back. It's not fun. So, yeah. I'm Thunder Chomping. I don't care if he swaps out. Because the Jalusa's low. Jalusa's low. As long as he can't Luster loot the HP back, we're going to be fine against Jalusa. It's just going to depend on what... He goes into here. Goes into Helvantic, that's fine. That's not the end of the world. It gets some free damage on it. That's fine. Is it going to do that much? But it's still pretty good damage. Going to go into my defense form again. And this time, I'm going to click the move Driving Force. And just to stack up the hazards damage. And predicting either Wintrix or Jalusa coming in. Keeps going for the Venom Chomp. I don't know why it's not Baneful Bash. We'll go for the Driving Force. To predict either Jalusa or Wintrix coming in. Those are his two biggest threats for my team. I could probably outspeed the Wintrix with Hunter. But I'm probably not going to be able to beat that Jalusa if it comes back in again. If I can get a little more chip damage. It won't be it will be harder for it to luster loot HP back. So it's worth the play. 
Honestly, as Helvantic could predict that and stay in. He went Jalusa. Or went Trix. He went Jalusa. I drive each force it back out. That's huge. That's a big deal for me. Awesome. Back into. Okay, C Drake's not great. C Drake's really not great. I didn't want to see this, honestly. Plus, these fellas usually run specialty boots. Maybe I just force it out and hope I live the hit. I honestly don't know. I have no swap ins for it. I think I have to sack the Chironix. I don't really have a play here. Oh dear. I don't really have a play here. I'm gonna have to do it. This is unfortunate. This is bad. Especially if it's insulated. Can't tell if this thing is boots neither. I'm gonna go into Metro. Metro could live one Thorn Slam. Metro could live one Thorn Slam, but will it do enough damage is the question. This is definitely his boots, Lumion. I'm not soul bursting. Dang it, if I soul burst, I would have KO'd it. Like, look at that damage. I would have died from that. This is terrible. The Sea Drake is boots. Boo! Thank gosh it was enough to defeat it. Thank goodness. So that's good. At least we were able to defeat the Sea Drake. And I still have a Soul Burst in the back to heal HP. So we're fine. Thank gosh the Metronet barely lived. I needed that. Let's see who he goes into next. Not sure, honestly. I don't know what he has to outspeed this. He doesn't have anything. Soul Burst is basically free. If he goes with tricks, I'll just hit it. If he goes met, I don't know what else he has. I really don't. I honestly don't know what else he has. If he's thinking about it, he doesn't. I don't think he has a swap in with his boots Lumion being dead. All right, he goes with the Soul Burst erupt Dawn. So I know the play then. We just, you know, Soul Burst. Sinister Shackles. Just do as much to this as we can before that thing sweeps me. I don't want to get swept by one of those today. Let's be honest. I don't think anyone wants a Soul Burst Erupt the Dawn sweep. Thankfully, he's bringing this in on Metro and not on anything else. So that's good. So I can at least chip the Soul Burst Erupt the Dawn. Get it down below half. Put it into Cannibo range. And hopefully Cannibo can sweep with a, with a few clobbers. He goes for a Soul Burst himself. That's okay. Gonna go for the Hellstorm just to place that up, I assume. And then, we're gonna rely on Cannibo to win this game. I hope I can do at least half of its health so I can get it into Clobber range. That's all I can really hope for. Please get it below half. Sinister Shackles. It's gonna be cool, a Soul Burst, doing that animation to a Soul Burst. <laughs> yeah, Soul Burst Erupted Dawn, you're getting humiliated! Okay, I did a decent chunk. He actually went for the Magma Block. Let's go! You can't block Soul Burst in attacks. We go for the Cycle Blast. Soul Burst Metronet might be able to sweep. Oh my goodness, that's a big deal for me. Why did it go for the Magma Block on a Soul Burst Metronet when it's using ranged attacks? That's what you get for using Magma Block to try to stall me out. Why didn't you just go into the Wind Tricks to begin with? I don't know why, but I'm just going to generally take it. We're just going to go for a Cycle Blast just to do as much damage as we can. I think it does a little more than Pyro. Especially if I can get a crit. Goes for the Brain Freeze, KOs me. But now, it's free. Cannibo is basically free. We're going to go into it right now. Go for the Special D Boots. Bra Brawler play. And we should be in a good situation to win this game. We go for a Clobbered. It's going to give me an aggressive boost. Does he have any Spirit types? Let's see. There's the aggressive boost. All right. Let's see what we do here. Please, last Lumion, don't be anything that resists Brawler. Oh, yeah. It's Alvantic from the beginning. I forgot about that. Okay. We do know now, at least. We do know now. I don't want to die because I want to save this for the Jalusa. We just go back into Canabo. And this is where it gets kind of interesting. Venom Chomp. Do I place down another layer of barbs or do I go for a Driving Spores? I think I'm going to go for a layer of barbs. Because he's going to predict me using the Driving Force this turn. Yes, he predicted me using the Driving Force this turn. My milkshake has been propped. Layer of barbs is indeed up. And honestly, 
Now this time I'm gonna go for the driving spores. Yes, okay, I get I get down lower, so Luster Loot HP won't matter that much. That's gonna get his Jalusa even lower too, because of the barbs. I'm just gonna stay in because I know what I have left to win this match. Jalusa has to deep freeze. If the Jalusa doesn't deep freeze, Jalusa's in trouble. We just go for the driving force at this point. Yep, just goes for Snami. I actually lived a hit even better. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Awesome, we win this match no matter what now. I'm honestly just going to rest on the Helvantic so I can actually, you know, get my Cannibal back on the field. I'll place Icicle Traps in case he doesn't attack me. Yep, I'm dead. But now, we're in position to win. We go for two Clobbers. He gets an aggressive boost, but it doesn't matter too much. He's out of energy. We just go for the Brawler-type attack. We use the Brawler-type Clobber attack twice, and we win. I'm not taking any risks in case that Jalusa somehow lives barbs. So, we just two-shot you. Oh, or get a crit and KO you. Doesn't matter, because I would have just KO'd it next attack. So, say goodbye to the Helvantic. And the Jalusa dies to a layer of barbs, but if it somehow lives... I just KO it with a can with Canapo anyway, and that will be the game. Wow, Canapo did decent at the at the late game. Canapo did very good late game today, but that's the thing. Aggressive Canapo is restrictive to only use in the late game. While the ambush one, you can pivot in at any time, and it can do some major damage on the switch. I think aggressive is the second best ability compared to aggressive and madcap, but I don't think it's quite as good as ambush. But it's better than madcap. Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me using Canapo, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!